Wow, what a team in the house today. So, yes, the culinary hotline bling will continue in just a moment. But right now, let's get active, but in a really slow and empathetic way for our bodies. If you hit snooze every morning and then have to drag yourself out of bed, it might be time to refresh that AM routine with some morning stretches. And stretching in the morning, it can be, yes, a great way, a relaxing way to wake up and feel a bit more energized, get that boost, that feel-good serotonin into your system. And stretching also, um, it creates uh, some ease and muscle stiffness. It can increase your range of motion, can reduce pain and improve your posture. It's just about movement. And here to take us through some of those stretches is fitness trainer Paul Jordan. Paul, welcome to it, man. How are you doing, bro? Oh, we're doing great. Thank you very much for having me. Um, so we're going to start off with a 5 to 10 minute stretching routine which everyone can do on a morning basis. It can basically improve your posture, increase your mobility, helps with stress relief, etc, etc. And so a great way to get the mind focused as well. If this is the first thing you do, it just kind of centers you in. Absolutely brilliant. Exactly. Okay, we're going to start off in a seated position. Right. All right. So we're going to work all the way from the head, all the way through, straight throughout the toes. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off left hand, just above the right ear, right arm straight against the ground, and you're going to have a little bit of a pull and press against your head. You can keep that position for around five to ten seconds where we can switch. So right hand above the left ear, right left arm straight, and just a little decent press. We can keep that position for five to ten seconds. After that, we can move into some neck rolls. So... We can start off right and just roll our neck to the left. I think so much of us carry tension in our necks and that skull cap. So to be able to release that first thing. 100% Such agree. a great way to start. Eh? We can do that for about five to 10 seconds. After that, we can start stretching the shoulders. So basically what we're gonna do is you're gonna lock your hands behind your back, squeeze your chest out while pushing your arms towards the back. You're going to feel the stretch in your front delt area. We're going to move straight into the overhead stretch. So what you're going to do is you're going to rotate your shoulders all the way up and press. All the way. Here we go. You will probably feel a little bit of a crack and stretch in your back as well. We can go two or three. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that position again. Just press against the back, moving, pushing your chest out. All right, after that, we can come to a neutral position, bring a right hand to the left, just get a good stretch in your rear delts. You can keep that for about three to five seconds, move over to the left. There we go, right again. Nice. Now yeah, doing that upper body, obviously the shoulder's so important in just about everything that you do in functional movement. Left again. All right, good. Now we can move into a knee position, so you can just basically relax and stand on your knees. You can target the lateral area, so just with your right arm, move over, get that good stretch in the lateral area. You can hold that position for about three to five seconds. So I find with these, I mean, I have to do so much back stretching. Move left. And using your breathing to just add that extra dimension. All right. Now we can move into the prone press-up position. So this is basically going to target your lower back. So you basically anchor your lower body into the ground. You can get in almost like a push-up position. Right. And you anchor your lower body against the ground, and then you just press up using your shoulders, your triceps, and your chest. And you'll feel that good stretch in your lower back. You can hold that for about three seconds, go down again, and just press up again. There we go. Just from that, we can move towards the back. Just get that good stretch while keeping your head low. All right, we're gonna move into the seated position again, doing a butterfly stretch. So basically, feet against each other, bring it towards you, and then press down on your knees gently for that proper thigh stretch. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is an uncomfortable one for most. <laughs> This is where you strengthen your mind. There you know? we go. After that, we can just keep, keep your left leg in the same position. You can keep, keep your right leg in a straight position, pulling your toes towards you and just get that stretch into your hamstrings. 
You can have a little bend in the knee as well if you want that additional stretch. You can use your hands to basically just pull yourself towards your toes. I think it's worth noting, I mean, you know your range, Switch. so you don't want to kind of overdo it, exactly. but push yourself. Take, take each day as the next step forward, get a little bit further down, do a little bit more. But I think the most important thing here is this is a great way to kind of get into your body at the beginning of the day. You're going to need it for the rest of the day. But this sharpens the body, it relaxes the body, but it sharpens the mind in that process. Paul, exactly. um, thank you so much. We're going to continue our stretching routine. Hopefully this has given you a couple of tips on how you can start your day energized and with movement. I think most importantly, um, keeping that mobility going is absolutely vital first thing in the morning. All right. We'll, we'll continue with our culinary hotline bring in just a few moments, starting to work up a bit of appetite now. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs>